Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to showcase to you how you can create videos that you can actually use for promotional purposes, for example, on a platform like uh, YouTube. Now, I'm actually searching for some trading programs over here, uh, but trading is getting a little bit outdated and uh, there's a lot of uh, different programs that you can find on ClickBank. So let me go ahead and log into my dashboard. All right, so here we are inside of the self improve or inside of ClickBank and we can go to spirituality and new age beliefs. And I've been actually seeing a lot of ads uh, regarding this, uh, the genius wave, uh, which is doing quite well and basically paying about $46. And you can see that the gravity score is 455, which means that uh, this product is really selling very well. Now, assuming you want to promote this product, you want to create a video for it that promotes it on YouTube to kind of drive people into this link to then purchase, or maybe you want to uh, get them to a squeeze page, however you wish to do it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and first of all, copy only the link to the product. Then I'm going to head right back into ChatGPT and start up a new chat. So I'm going to say, now I want to actually, or I want to create a video regarding this product. Okay. It should be a 45 second video. Write the script for about each five seconds, right? Of voiceover. Describe very shortly, very shortly the image to use and make it seamless make it simple keep the descriptions descriptions of the background image or video very short and uh, i want the video to use a powerful hook story and offer to make it clear what the goal of the video is so proceed and uh, here is the link so i'm going to paste the link to the product this real genius wave i'm going to enter i'm actually going to let it do the job all right so now we have our video so what i'm going to ask it next is very powerful i'm going to say now assemble all the voiceovers voiceovers into one paragraph and uh, write all the visuals in a bullet list from top to bottom. That way it makes my job easier. Now at the same time, I'm going to go to 11 labs, which is a tool that's going to enable us to generate the voiceover for such uh, a video. Now inside of 11 labs, I'm going to take the voiceover and transform it into a voiceover. I'm going to use a deep and smooth voiceover and I'm going to go back over here. So I'm going to paste my voiceover and then I'm going to go for a different voice. Um, I have a voice, which is basically that of Adam uh, and Michael, Jack. Jack is smooth and mysterious. So let's go ahead and click generate, right? Now let's wait a second until this is generated. Unlock the power of genius with Real Genius Wave. Boost your brain power and mental clarity instantly. Scientifically engineered to enhance focus and creativity. Whether you're studying, working, or creating, stay sharp. It's time to tap into your full mental potential. Join thousands who've already transformed their minds, ready to experience the breakthrough yourself. Unlock your genius. Start now with a special offer. Visit realgeniuswave.com and supercharge your mind today. Uh, this is pretty good. So assuming that, for example, you want to go ahead and download it, right? Uh, you can go and download it, but I quite don't really like the script. So I'm going to ask it to redo the script. I'm going to ask it to redo the script because, well, before that, let me cancel because I want to copy this prompt to use later. I'm going to copy paste it in somewhere here. I'm going to say the, the voiceover is not hooking or is not a, doesn't start with a good hook. Doesn't start with a good hook. This is not good at all, all right? Make sure the hook is powerful. Use intriguing story telling. Use ancient wisdom. Make it something not everyone hears every day. And uh, back it up with some university 
studies. Because when people see that uh, maybe this was done uh, via a university study, then they might actually believe it more. They might say, okay, so yeah, this is a uh, University of Stanford or Harvard or whatever university it is. So all I'm saying is that. All right, not to say that this voiceover is not good, but I think we can do better than this. Okay, so let's go back to ChatGPT. Now this is the enhanced version. All right, so now that it has done this, I can just paste the previous prompt for it to assemble everything or the voiceovers in a uh, in one line. But before that, let me check the first voiceover. For centuries, the greatest minds have sought one thing, true mental mastery from teachings of ancient... Okay, so let's go ahead and hit enter. Now this is better, right? Uh, we can use, a, a, a let's just say, a notion or we can actually credit Einstein or some kind of person by just uh, mentioning the person. And now here it's basically going to give us the voiceover paragraph. So that's the most important part. So I want you to copy this and you want to go back here and paste it in and you want to generate speech. In the meantime here for the visuals, we're going to use a tool called Leonardo. For centuries, the greatest minds have sought one thing, true mental mastery. From the teachings of ancient sages to cutting edge neuroscience, the secret has been uncovered. Introducing Real Genius Wave, scientifically proven to amplify your brain's performance. A Harvard study reveals audio frequencies can boost focus by 70%. The ancient Greeks used harmonic frequencies to unlock creativity. Now you can too. Whether you need focus, clarity, or a creative spark, this is your edge. Thousands have already tapped into this power. Are you ready? For a limited time, Unlock the Real Genius Wave at a special price. Visit realgeniuswave.com and experience ancient wisdom backed by modern science. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and download this particular audio right here. And uh, okay, so now let's go to canva.com because Canva is where we're going to edit everything before putting it into uh, basically putting it into a uh, video. And I'm going to go for YouTube short format. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for that kind of size or maybe not. I think a YouTube short format would be perfect. All right, let's let's just do it in a YouTube short format. You can you can choose any format, but I'm going to go for YouTube shorts format. Now here I'm going to go for uh, custom size and the size should be in terms of inches. It should be 9 by 16 and I can click create a design. In which case right now it's going to open this up. So basically I have my voiceover. I have just downloaded it. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and generate the scenes. So here, basically we can generate ancient scrolls. Da, da, da. Okay, so I just want to copy this particular description. And I want to go to this tool. It's actually called Leonardo AI. Now Leonardo AI enables you to generate images. And uh, I'm going to go ahead over here and I'm going to go for Leonardo Lightning and I'm going to go instead of a preset style, uh, which is, uh, yeah, it's such a dynamic. It's pretty good. Uh, but I'm going to go for cinematic. The quality is, be is best. And I'm going to go for more. And I'm going to make sure this is set to uh, 9 by 16 inches. And I want to generate as many images as possible to get as many alternatives as possible. Uh, then I want to remove this particular prompt and paste my new prompt. Okay. So after doing this, I can hit enter. Now, you don't necessarily have to uh, basically have to generate images uh, each time because what you can do is you can simply use images and a combination of images and videos which is what we're going to do so first of all we're going to have to generate the image first then we can move on so now go back to this canva project and what you want to do is you want to actually now this is not a video so that's the problem okay so what, what i'm going to do here is i'm going to ha actually have to click duration and now it's going to be a video and you want to go ahead and drag your voiceover up over here so once you put your voice over here, you can see it's already placed. It's in the uploads. But you, what you want to do, our voiceover is about 49 seconds. So what I want to do, I want to click on this particular page right here. And I want to actually expand it so that I can see the entire voiceover. Now you can see I'm expanding it. The voiceover is not changing position because I have to expand it too. But first, let's just put this at about 50 in terms of seconds. Then I can click on my voiceover right here and I can actually just increase the size of this particular voiceover. And you can see right here that the voiceover has been expanded. I'm going to click the voiceover as well. And uh, I think I don't need to add the voice now. We can we can improve the voice later in CapCut. I'm going to go at the very beginning. And what you want to do, you want to come over here and you can see that we have a bunch of scenes. Now I'm going to take one of these scenes, right? 
And you can turn this scene into a motion by clicking generate motion video. So you can either generate a motion video or just keep it as an image. I'm going to generate a motion video. Okay. Now I'm going to show this again. And come on, don't show this again. Now I'm going to click view generation. Okay. So if I do, now it's going to proceed. Transition to ancient wisdom, symbols, pyramids, da, da, da. So what I'm going to do, all right. So how many scenes do we have? One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now let me check it out. All right. So 45 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine scenes. So what we need to do, we need to take 49 and divide that by about, uh, basically by about nine. So let's do the, the math. 49 divided by 9, so that equals about 5.44. I'm just going to make it 5 because we're going to add transitions anyways. So I'm going to go ahead over here, and I'm going to basically start just uh, creating 5 different uh, splits. It doesn't matter the, the size. We can change that later. Just create five, uh, create 9 splits. All right, so 1, 2. Now it's 3. And now it's 4. Right. 5. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now it doesn't matter how big they are because we can change the sizes later. As of now, let's just click on the first one and let's go back to Leonardo because we should be able to see our generation or our, our video has been generated here. Now, Leonardo does a pretty good job of generating a four second uh, video. So that's fantastic. Let's wait for it. You can see that right now it has generated this, this motion which is pretty good. So I'm going to download the motion and you want to put that in the first, the first scene. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this. Make sure you click the first page. And once you drag this over here into Canva, you'll be able to actually uh, use it. Okay. So if I go to my uploads, it's uh, strangely taking some time to upload things, which is weird. Let me go to videos here. All right, there it is. So if I click, it will paste it here. And what I want to do, I want to set the video to the background. Okay. Now let's go to page number two. Now inside of page number two, they're talking about, you know, some uh, scenes now, uh, basically transition, ancient wisdom, pyramids, monks meditating. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead over here and actually going to cut this scene in two, right? I'm going to cut it in two. And basically I'm going to go over here into the elements. I'm going to search for pyramids and I'm also going to search for monks. When it comes to pyramids, you can use a video. Notice here, this is at 2.9 uh, seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a very good looking video. Uh, this one is good, but I'm going to click on the video in order to edit it. And I'm going to increase the video speed. I'm going to make sure there is no sound. It seems there is no sound uh, or audio. Make sure you click it, reduce it down to zero. There is no sound, but I'm just going to make sure of it. And here you need to click the timer and make sure it's set to 2.9 because you don't want it to be bigger. Now, after we do this, I can just set the video to the background, click on this one. Now, the other one is basically a monk meditating. And then we can do a, trans uh, tra a uh, transition to a science lab. Okay, not a problem. We can split this scene to 1.6, 1.7. Okay, so let's go ahead and look for some monks meditating. Monks meditating. Now we have this guy and he's doing some meditation. Uh, I'm going to go for the first video that I find. And you want to go ahead to the video. I'm going to go to the editing and I'm basically going to increase the video speed. I'm going to go to the audio as well. Make sure there is no audio, even though there is none. I'm going to set this to the background, but at the same time, I'm going to click and make sure this is 1.6 in terms of the amount of seconds. I'm going to do this. I'm going to click done. I'm going to double click and basically make sure I move this slightly over here. All right. So. Now what do we have? We have a transition to a modern day scientific lab with brain scans. Okay. That is also a pretty good scene to add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this particular simple description. I'm going to move to that page. I'm going to double click. I'm going to paste this over here and I'm going to hit enter. Okay. So you can see that now it's basically searching. There are a couple of, uh, you know, uh, science labs, but what we want to do, we want to show a picture with some scientists and here we have this one. So I'm going to click it and I'm basically going to click and I'm going to make sure to edit. As usual, I'm going to edit the video playback speed. I'm going to, th this is, there is no audio and I'm going to click over here. I'm going to transform this to about 1.8 or 1.9, whatever it is. 
just to kind of showcase a person analyzing some brain scans. And I'm going to set the video to the background, in which case this is now going to set the video to the background. I want to make sure I show the face of the person uh, running the tests. Okay, at least we want to be able to do that. So here, let's move to this other page. Now, the other scene is a close-up of neurons firing, da, 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 transition to smoothly, da, 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 smoothly product reveal, pulsating, da, da, da. okay. So I'm going to go ahead, neurons fi firing. This is enough. And I'm going to go and paste this, paste this in, right? Once you paste this in, this is a split scene. So you want to, you want to take this scene right here and you want to split it into half. So you want to just go ahead and do something like this. So I'm going to split this page. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, find some neurons firing. Uh, yeah, we have a bunch of neurons firing. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go ahead and look for some of them. This one is pretty cool. So I'm going to click it. And it's 2.7, so first of all, let's set the video to the background, then let's click it, let's click edit. And basically, I'm going to go and increase the video speed, and I'm going to make this about 2.7 or something like this. So let's just click over here and make it 2.7, then click done. And basically, what I want to do is I want to go to the audio, and I want to make sure this is set to zero in terms of audio. Now let's click on the uh, other scene. Now the other scene is basically, according to ChatGPT, is basically transition to the reveal, pulsating energy waves, Okay, pulsating energy waves. Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, copy this description. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to hit enter. Now you can see over here that we have some pulsating energy waves. And what I want to do is I want to use something intriguing. This one seems to be intriguing enough, and I want to use this. So I'm going to set the video to the background, and I'm going to click. I'm going to make sure this is about. First of all, let us uh, edit this. Let me just increase the video speed. And let's just go ahead, for example, and say that this is maybe three seconds. Okay, three seconds. Done. And uh, then what I want to do is I want to oh, go ahead and continue. Now, as far as the transitions, uh, I could have added transitions, but that means I would have to increase the, the size of my video. So we can do that later, but right now, I'll just keep adding scenes. Infographic of a Harvard study. Okay, Harvard. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some Harvard videos showcasing the school of Harvard. Let's look for Harvard. Yeah, we have a bunch of Harvard videos potentially. Uh, let's look for this one. And let's just go ahead. Yeah, I think this picture is taken at Harvard. I'm not sure. Uh, but let's click on this particular uh, video here. I'm going to click edit. And I'm going to make sure I increase the vi video speed. And then right here in terms of the video speed itself, I'm going to actually decrease this to about maybe just something less click done now let's move on here we have another scene this is a statue of a greek philosopher okay so let's just go ahead and uh copy statue of a Phys greek philosopher and we can actually do something else we can apply a overlay which basically they're telling us here harmonic sounds pulsing so we can add that as an overlay on top of the greek statue but let's go ahead for, first of all and find a greek statue uh we have a bunch of greek statues over here let's find the one that we kind of like uh so let's scroll down I think that this one is going to be nice. Let's paste it. And uh, first of all, let me go back to check 4.6. Okay, let's put this here. And then you want to go ahead and you want to edit. You want to make sure this is sped up. And you want to make sure you put this as the background video. And you want to make sure you click it and that you go to audio, that you remove if there's any audio. I'm going to double click, make sure I isolate my statue. You can see the statue over there. And what I want to do is I want to make sure this is set to 4.6 when it comes to the length and then hit done. You can see it's set to 4.6. Then I can go and look for uh, pulse waves, right? Pulse waves. We have a bunch of pulse waves. Uh, so let's try. This is pretty nice. Or uh, waves, let's just say frequency waves instead of pulse waves because they, they're thinking, talking about uh, heart pulse pulses. Uh, we have some pulse waves here, which is pretty fine. Uh, this one sounds good. So it looks pretty nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it, but you want to make sure this is also 4.6. But first of all, let us click edit. I think if I make this speed a little bit close to double, let's see how 4.9. Okay, so let's click it, make it 4.6 by forcing it to be 4.6. And then clicking done. And then what you want to do, you want to click on this video. You want to reduce the transparency of it so that it still shows the, the pulse. But at the same time, it doesn't overshadow the statue behind it. So we want to show kind of the pulses and the shadow and the statue. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead over here. 
and I want to, you know, just kind of put this at the center. But at the same time, I want to be able to click. So if I go to position here, if I go to layers, you can see the statue in the back. And what I want to do is I want to be able to select that statue in the back. I want to do something with it. But first of all, let's move this aside. Let me click the statue in the back. I'm going to double click because I want to zoom in on it. I'm going to zoom in on it quite close like this. And then here, I'm going to take the waves and place them close. But at the same time, this wave shouldn't be this overwhelming. So let's reduce the transparency of it. And then let's paste it there. So that's that's perfect. Now let's move to the other page. So a montage of professional, the artists and students, and per, da, 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 backgrounds. Okay. So let's just copy all of this. And let's go back to Canva. Double click, paste. And if I hit enter, you can see that right now it's going to proceed to show me a couple of, uh, or a montage. And uh, what I want to do is I just want to, I just want to go ahead and show the montage. Now let's click here. This seems to be like a pretty good montage. Let me zoom in to see the quality. Uh, yeah, this is kind, kind of good, but let us remove it. Go back in time. Uh, let's look at this one. This one seems to be nice, but not sure if we're going to get what we want. Okay, so here, uh, let's check it out. We have this one as well. So 5.6, let's click and see. Yeah, this one is good. So I'm going to, first of all, uh, click edit. And I want to make this faster. You want to make your videos with a lot of motion, a lot of speed in them to kind of get people to stick to the video and watch the video. Because people's attention these days, they really lose attention fast. Now I'm going to go ahead over here and I'm going to make sure this is 5.6. 5, 5. So what I learned is the speed of the information you provide is also very crucial. So when you provide a lot of information at the same time, what happens then is that people can see, okay, there's a lot of movement here and they equate it with value. So here, let's see, testimonial style, da, 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 dynamic shots of people using the product. Okay, so let's say uh, maybe testimonials. We just search for the word testimonial. And uh, we have a bit more time to do. So here you can see we have a bunch of people. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use a professional picture like this one. I'm going to click it. And right here, you want to go ahead and you want to go and edit. This is a pretty large video. I'm going to speed the, the video and I'm going to move over here and make sure this is about 4.6. So in terms of the length, 4.6 would be enough. Click done. And that is pretty much it. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to set the video to the background and then I'm going to move. So here we have a bunch more scenes, testimonial style, uh, text over a dynamic shot of people using the product. Okay. We have already had it special offer countdown timer. Okay. So let's go ahead and look for some countdown timer, countdown timer so that we can show that, uh, this is, uh, basically going to, you know, be expired. This one is better. Okay. So I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to make sure that this is 6.3, 6.3, done. I'm going to right click, set video to the background. This is nice. Now let's move to the final scene. In the final scene, we have a final shot version of the website. Okay, so let's go to the website we are seeking to promote. And basically, let's just uh, maybe scroll down to an important part of the website. Maybe kind of like this, but let's actually right click on inspect. That way they're going to show us the version of the website on mobile. That way, when we take a screenshot, we can take a screenshot of the version on mobile. I'm not sure if this is the version on mobile because they're not really showing me all the details. Let's see. Is it? Is it? Is this the only thing they're showing on mobile? That's pretty interesting. They're not showing the top. Uh, when I inspect, they're showing a bit of a different thing. Yeah. Okay, so I think maybe this is the version they show on mobile. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I'm going to go back right here. So I'm going to go back right here. I'm going to click to paste the screenshot. Obviously, the only thing I'm interested with is that middle part. Showcasing the, the page itself. And let's zoom in. And because we're 9 by 16 inches, it's going to be fine. Now, let's go ahead and basically just crop some extra bits. Let's zoom out. And let's try to fit this in to our design. So I'm going to put it at the top. And then I'm going to just crop, crop, or scale. And you can see that I still have to remove a bunch of things. Scale, scale, scale. I could actually maybe crop a little bit extra. Scale some more. 
scale some more from here and that's it and you can see that we've added this as a page now i'm going to go and animate this i'm going to add a very basic animation to it which is basically called uh the photo zoom uh but is it uh is it great uh let's see we have some other interesting animations to add all right so photo zoom is good i'm going to put the photo zoom in there all right so now after creating this video we need to do one thing which is adding transitions so basically i'm going to go out here and then what you want to do is you want to click between every video you want to add a transition and this transition should be very very soft now i'm going to add the uh match and move transition and this match and move transition should take more than in my opinion 0.2 seconds and uh, you can apply it between all pages but this is going to mean that uh maybe we need to increase the size of some elements so let's for example click this one this one is 1.3 so maybe let's increase the size of it because our audio is 49 seconds so we need to match it now let's just start playing a little bit with the seconds here here and there for example the eye now it's 47.5 so it's good now let's click on the eye let's make sure we expand a little bit let's click here for example now this is not a cool video to show uh let's try to show the cooler ones let's try to show this one a little bit more so i'm gonna click and then right here i'm just gonna do one last modification and now we're about 49 exact but let's just move a little bit past the 49 and click done All right so that's it now you can see that uh our video ex extends over so it's uh longer videos are longer than the audio which is good it's a good sign now let's zoom out and now what we want to do is we want to actually go ahead and say raw video uh, or uh, let's just say genius wave genius wave raw promo video okay and then we want to click on the share option and then we want to click on the download option and then right here i want to go ahead and download this in its uh, original size and uh here it's mp4 so that's nice so what i want to do i want to click the download button and basically what we want to do is we want to take this video this base video into CapCut to edit so i'm going to go ahead and open up CapCut in the meantime and i want you to go and do the same thing all right first of all we can go ahead and watch this video before editing it inside of CapCut. so let's just click on play let's watch the base form of the video for centuries the greatest minds have sought one thing true mental mastery from the teachings of ancient sages to cutting-edge neuroscience the secret has been uncovered introducing real genius wave scientifically proven to amplify your brain's performance a harvard study reveals audio frequencies can boost focus by 70 percent the ancient greeks used harmonic frequencies to unlock creativity now you can too whether you need focus clarity or a creative spark this is your edge thousands have already tapped into this power are you ready for a limited time Unlock the Real Genius Wave at a special price. Visit realgeniuswave.com and experience ancient wisdom backed by modern science. All right, that's pretty perfect. So I'm going to go into CapCut. I'm going to create a project. And what we want to do, we simply want to upload this to CapCut to add captions and video effects, okay, as well as a sound. Now, when it comes to the sound, I can go ahead to ChatGPT and ask it to suggest a sound to me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and look for ancient mysterious music pixabay which is uh non-copyright infringing and uh, it should find me a piece of music that we can actually like so i'm going to click import we only have a video to import that's the good thing of using canva is it does all the job okay so it takes care of everything for you you just have to upload the video to it and you can just add the final touches so i'm going to put this as the cover video and as usual what you want you want to do is you want to split audio from video you don't want to keep them glued together right so that you can have control over the audio and over the video in a maximal way so here i have uploaded my element and i'm just going to go ahead here and try to extract video from it so if you right click you can see the extract audio and then here i can click on this audio as a matter of fact i can actually boost the audio by just increasing the audio from here or you can simply increase it like this by just moving it around now that's one thing to increase the audio right which is a very good thing uh but what you can do as well is you can also enhance the voice if you have the pro membership okay so the voice was actually enhanced now what i'm going to go ahead and do as well is i'm going to go into effects right here and we have some very interesting effects that you can add notably the glitch effect which is a pretty cool effect that you can add to make this video look nicer so you can just go ahead to effects and search for glitch 
or you can actually find it manually, which is the case. You can also do that as well. But I'm simply going to go ahead and search for glitch. I'm going to use a very fine-tuned glitch, this one. It's a very stream, streamlined one. It's very simple. And I'm actually going to drag it across the entire video. But I don't want the glitch to be really huge. I want to decrease the range, filters, and speed of it. And uh, that is pretty much that. So after adding the glitch, you can also use filters. And when it comes to filters or adjustments, however you like, filters are cool because they offer you a lot of different filters. So for example, if you want to sound mysterious, then you can just look for mystery. Uh, you can find some filters that are Hollywood-like filters. Now over here, you can see that we have a bunch of filters, which is really interesting. Uh, let's just keep looking. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and look for some interesting glitches not, or effects. There's even effects, the GTA effects, right? If you want to do that as well. Okay. Focus, serang. Okay. Let's scroll down. Uh, quality. Okay. Let me see. There's a lot of different effects here. Okay, so let's look for, for example, history. I'm not sure if we can find something related to history over here. Uh, humble, golden. Let's try the retro. Okay, so I'm going to drag this retro filter. Let's see. It actually doesn't really do much. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to remove this retro effect or whatever that is. And I'm going to click on adjustments to apply my own adjustments. I'm going to drag a custom adjustment over here. And basically what I want to do is I want to drag this custom adjustment all across. So I'm going to actually drag it. Now, first of all, let's just put it here and wait. Then I can actually expand upon it up until this point. And I can actually scroll down, add some adjustments. And you can see how that is done. I can go and add a little bit more exposure, uh, contrast, highlights, uh, shadows, uh, white colors, uh, a little bit of black colors, brilliance, uh, some sharpening and some clarity. And I can also add vignette which is pretty cool and if you want you can either even add particles to your video to make it seem like there is particles that gives an extra layer of uh interest okay then what you can do is you can go to captions add captions before adding music so go to captions you can only add five we use captions five times if you have the free membership now they've changed a couple of things and I'm just going to simply click generate, in which case it's going to go and start generating. In the meantime, I can go back to Google and search for my free mystery music. Music. Okay, so here we have a dark mystery trailer. Uh, let's just check this one out. It's pretty cool, but it's not really very interesting. Now let's try this one. Not interesting as well. So what we're looking for is we're actually looking for uh, mystery, you know, some kind of wave music. So I'm going to say waves. I'm sorry, I made a mistake there and to correct it. Otherwise, my brain is going to get lazy. So waves music, no copyright song and MP3. Okay, uh, light waves, digital disaster. What is that? Let's try the, the first one. Yeah, this one is, is good. So I'm going to download that piece of music, all right? And basically, I'm going to have to check that it was downloaded 100%. Yeah, it was. So let's go back here. Now, after you add your captions, go to captions to check there is no grammatical mistake over here. Because if there is, you need to correct it. So for centuries, da, 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 the mental mystery, or mastery, the cutting edge of neuroscience, the secret has been uncovered, introducing real genius wave, scientifically proven. So Harvard study, you have to make sure that everything is correct, that there is no grammar mistake whatsoever. Okay, so let's just scroll down and add some more and add some more and add some more. And then you can see here, now real genius wave in this one is attached, which shouldn't be. Actually, it should be, okay, because this is a dot com, real genius wave dot com trying to add a dot just mistakenly clicking on two frustrating realgeniuswave.com da, 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 backed by modern science okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead over here and select everything then i want you to go to text 
templates and which you want to do you want to select the awesome template from the templates which we happen to have right here so let's wait a second you can see that we have a bunch of templates there is one that interests me and i'm going to go down to actually go ahead and find it out so let's scroll down all right so i'm going to actually use this one so if i click it's basically going to go ahead and apply this caption uh, to all of them and you can see that this is a nice one so what i want you to do i want you to move your needle right up here at, at a specific in the middle of one of the captions any one of them and make sure you select all of them right then what you want to do is you want to move this to the middle right because that's it, that's where it should be and now that's that so now after adding captions you can go to import and you can basically click import and now we can import the entire music right so let's go ahead over here to light waves let's import the music and uh let's wait a second one two three all right so i'm going to drag this particular music over here and i'm going to move move to the end and i'm going to right click and i'm going to basically split okay then i'm going to hit enter i want to click the, here i want to fade out i want to fade in but at the same time i want to reduce the sound of this to a maximum level then we want to start listening to see for centuries the greatest minds have sought one thing true men this seems nice so i'm going to go and click export and by the way, if you have if you have uh, CapCut Pro and if your video is over one minute, you can check for copyright. OK, I can't do it right now because my video is not more than one minute. But if you have a video that's more than one minute, then you can do it. I'm going to go for super resolution. I'm going to go for a 60 frames per second. And basically, I want to import this into my downloads or rather export it into the downloads. That's a fair enough thing to say. So I'm going to say CapCut Real Genius Wave. OK. Then I'm just going to click export. OK, so here let's click export. Now it's going to take a bit of time, but it's definitely going to export the video for us to watch. So let's wait a second. For centuries, the greatest minds have sought one thing, true mental mastery. From the teachings of ancient sages to cutting edge neuroscience, the secret has been uncovered. Introducing Real Genius Wave, scientifically proven to amplify your brain's performance. A Harvard study reveals Audio frequencies can boost focus by 70%. The ancient Greeks used harmonic frequencies to unlock creativity. Now you can too. Whether you need focus, clarity, or a creative spark, this is your edge. Thousands have already tapped into this power. Are you ready? For a limited time, unlock the Real Genius Wave at a special price. Visit realgeniuswave.com and experience ancient wisdom backed by modern science.